There are things that Charlotte Worthington does on her BMX that just look impossible. A few years back, she was working as a chef in a Mexican restaurant in Manchester, dreaming of a day like this. And she dared to try new moves. It was a 360 backflip that landed a gold. We've been searching for like this, this gold medal trick, essentially, that, that was going to get us there. And there was a couple of things we thought it might have been. And then once I started trying this trick, um, it just kind of came. And uh, we were like, that's it. That's the one. Max Whitlock was already Team GB's greatest ever gymnast, but he too found another level, retaining his Olympic title on the pommel horse with an incredibly hard routine that he made look easy. Through lockdowns, he's used his garden as his gym, but nothing could knock him off course in defending his title from Rio. He's 28, but determined to go to Paris for the next Olympics. I can't believe that's just happened. Um, thank you, everybody. It's been an incredible journey. Team GB, everybody. So grateful to have that moment with Scott on the floor and me. Cannot believe I'm coming home with a gold medal. Thank you so much for everybody's support. It means the world. But the biggest British success has been in the pool, where the 4 by 100 men's team landed silver. A spectacular week that all started with Adam Peaty's breaststroke victory. For us, it's kind of the ball started rolling. And I think, you know what, I'm going to latch on to that. And Duncan did, and Tom Dean did. And once that momentum was carrying forward, you know, he started it off. And I think that's where it came from. And that's where it's been coming from since Rio. We're not just going to sit back and go, oh, that's, that's amazing. Of course we are for a brief moment. But we're always looking, OK, how can we peak again? How can we get better from this? And, then, and that's the shift that we've made. And that's the shift that every team should make. We shouldn't have to sit on the fruits of our labour and just be happy. Duncan Scott has four of those precious medals the most of any Team GB athlete in one Olympics. The thing that is really positive, that was 22 of the team. It's their first ever Olympics. Um, so there is a lot of young faces on the team and, and ready to, for the next three years to, to move things on, which I, which I think is great. It is now the point at which Olympic Games start to be judged. And that comes down to moments and medals. In Rio five years ago, they took home an incredible 67 medals. We are now over halfway through these Tokyo Games, and that record is in their sights. While British rowing has slipped back and athletics is still waiting for a big moment, the pendulum has swung towards new sports that are vying for attention and the ones that are really delivering the goods. Tom Parmenter, Sky News, Tokyo.